yesterday we got on the topic of tall poppy syndrome, which was yeah. new to Ernest, but it's about this way of not standing out too much. And I think Americans oftentimes, and I think often well-meaning white Americans who are trying to do the right thing, dial back their Americanness around non-Americans, not wanting to be the tall poppy, when in sometimes maybe you should just own the poppiness. You should swagger and walk tall. And I appreciate it that way because I think sometimes I'm too, I, I rein in my Americanness too much. And your point, and you're going to explain this better than me, yeah. is that as long as you're not being an asshole, as long as you aren't being an ugly American, if you're, if you're outgoing and, and loud and happy-go-lucky and, and, and strong in your opinions, then why shouldn't you own it and just be that person? It's not you, it's them. I agree 100%. The thing is, again, it's important to stress, and I can't stress this enough, that you need to, you have to have awareness, which means knowing when right. to listen, knowing when to be quiet, knowing when to let people be right, knowing when to, you know, allow people to be people, regardless, even if they're, you know, even if they're kind of plumbing the depths of stereotypes, negative stereotypes against Americans, like, right. is it even worth engaging? this thing you know to, on the flip side of that obviously is you are who you are you're from where you're from and there's a beauty to our loudness I think because it is character it is it is indicative of people who come from a place where for better or worse a society was constructed yes on top of the ruins of a society that existed mm -hmm. but we're making we're doing the best that we can with what we've got we can well I take that back we can do much better. But still, as Americans, sometimes things are always thrown into this pile of negativity. But I feel like we can be go-getters. There are other people, and this is not to say that people from other countries and other societies aren't either, but I'm saying like, as an American, we, we, can, we can go out and, and explore the world in a way that can be interactive and and full of connectivity and and open-hearted and we can be bold and brash about it because it's almost expected of us anyway and if that's how you are then why do you have to dim your own light for someone else to feel better about themselves you know if you are engaging with people if you go out and you speak to people if you ask people questions about their lives and, and, and express interest if you are embodying things that in some society and I, again I don't mean be disrespectful you know be aware of the, the world around you and, and in some ways know that there's a time and a place so you know I wouldn't walk up into let's say a religious a, a place of worship being a loud American not if I'm aware of it you know obviously right. this is a place for contemplation it's a place for you know people to kind of to, to, to connect with whatever they're connecting with but well, in go ahead sorry well i think there's a there's a it occurred to me as you were talking that there is a there's a prescription with the idea that americans shouldn't be loud and exuberant and it's often class based yes. is that the reason that that sort of a stiff upper lip lip underspoken nature is common in like english society right is tied to the fact that it's the working class that's noisy and boisterous right who has emotions right and so you have to sort of telegraph your status <laughs> through your stiff upper lip, right? And so in a way, you know, I grew up and, you know, in America, yeah, usually the, the black kids were the loudest table in the cafeteria. Well, suddenly in Europe, I'm the black kid, you know, uh, the American kids are the black kid in the cafeteria of Europe, you know? But there's sort of a, <laughs> my American dirty looks and wanting them to shut up. Yeah, yeah. Or Which is a wanting literal to thing. join the table yeah. because they're having the most fun. Because they're the cool kids, right? Exactly.